Ceiling fan blowing cold breeze on your body I can't tell you really what it is, but you got it Make up in the morning, you got dresses in your closet But you grab them tight, you in love with being modest You a move by Good morning, you guys. Good morning. <laughs> You're welcome to another weekly vlog. This week's vlog, we're starting at work, okay? Um, I haven't really... I think we'll talk a lot more when I go for my lunch break, but I figured I'll just, you know, start off the weekly vlog and just get it off. That's my manager. She's, she's in a meeting, so that's why. Uh, but yeah, I'm at work today. This week is going to be more so like a work week type vlog and then we can just catch up on you know everything but yeah i hope you guys are doing well <laughs> yeah you guys i'm just currently working and getting things to get on my camera it's a little dark if i'm being completely honest um, but yeah i can fix that in a little bit it's very early in the morning right after a holiday a lot of people don't want to talk to you so um, if you didn't know what I do, I am in the tech sales business. Um, what my company does is IT services and cyber security. So I am in the inside sales department where I help, you know, do tech sales and stuff like that. So, um, anyway, I will catch up with you guys when it's time for lunch so that we can talk some more. Okay. You guys, let me put you here. So it's um, it's officially time for me to go home. Work is over, so I'm just like putting my things together so I can go home. <clears throat> I wanted to talk to you guys during my lunch break, but I couldn't really do that because I don't know. I don't know why. I was. I think I was packed. Yeah, I know why. I know why. I had a meeting that literally took my whole attention. So I didn't even go for my lunch break on time, but you guys, I just wanted to sort of like properly intro the vlog. My name is Akosia. If you're seeing me for the very first time, Akosia Behini. Um, this is my channel. We do vlogs. I haven't vlogged in a minute, so I just figured I'll do another intro. Work is good. We're grateful for that. But now it's time for me to go home and go and be a mom and a wife. You guys already know there's two jobs that we're doing. We do the nine to five and then we go home and then finish that off with you know the other things that we have to do so if you're new here you're welcome if you're a 10 subscriber <laughs> hats out to you every time okay uh, but i'm just gonna pack up and go home and you know i will catch up with you guys when i get home i just figured i'll do this intro because if i don't do it and i get home i might never do it and I like for my vlogs to like start on an official note so <laughs> I hope that that makes sense but anyway you guys I'm gonna just pack up and go home and when I get home I will catch up with you okay you guys I am back home my husband is watching um, politics on news so I don't know if you can hear it in the background, um, but I'm back home. I've been back home for a few hours at this point. Um, I did everything that I had to do. <laughs> I didn't really want to, you know, have the camera because I didn't want to run late into the night, if it makes sense. I just wanted to finish everything that I had to do really quickly. Plus, I didn't really cook anything today, so it wasn't anything crazy um, like in the kitchen. But I currently have a few things that I have to unbox, so let's go ahead and do that. We have some PR. Exciting. Let me, since I have that, let me just start with that. It's pretty windy today, so the... I hate it when the door does that and I don't want to close it because I feel like I'm from Papa will try to come inside and I don't want her to, you know, go historical because she can't find me. <laughs> they have a new um, lash collection. Whatever kids sends a package, just know that it's a ton of lashes and lash products. That's usually what they do and nails. That's usually what they send me at least. Um, so they have a new Rebel... I think it's called the Rebel Volu Vol what? <laughs> Voluminous Shaggy Full Mink Effects, okay? 
and yeah it's given bold they have it in different styles they always have me covered and i'm so grateful to be on kisses pr i haven't bought lashes I don't even remember the last time I bought lashes. Like if I buy lashes it's because I like it and that's why I want to buy. But yeah, so we have a bunch of styles in here. I really like this style. It's very simple. I feel like my camera is like on this. Like can you imagine my camera focusing on the mannequin over there? Like what business do you have doing that? Like why? Okay, you guys see that now? <laughs> okay. <laughs> But yeah, it's a bunch of styles. I don't want to show you all the styles because then it will just make the vlog too long. But it's just know that there's a bunch of styles. And this is what I usually throw in some of my giveaways. And let me just say that I apologize. <laughs> That's such a terrible behavior. Goodness. You guys know that I haven't sent my giveaway product. Like, I wish I could actually show you. I still have them sitting around somewhere. I have a bunch like... <laughs> I have to send them out look I see two of them I have to send them out I had been like swamped with you know when I got out of work you guys know when I was looking for a job and I just had so much going on with me and I feel like I'm finally in a place where you know I was telling myself that I'm finally in a place where I feel like I have my joy back because I don't know if you guys could tell from some of my previous vlogs i was literally in like declining decline like i was literally going through a lot but like getting a new job and everything because i'm not an ideal person when i'm home and i don't work it's like very stressful for me i think i said that so many times so a girl is finally getting her joy back okay let me just say that like little by little i'm getting my joy back and i'm i like that I'm, I'm happy for myself <laughs> um, and they also put some glue in here I love this particular glue from kiss it's like really good stuff like this is so annoying I have to take that stuff out of there because it's going to mess with everything that I try to show you one second okay oh my goodness okay I'm the only person that you're allowed to focus on okay we have another package from kiss <laughs> because why not so they sent me this one right here is their defined natural lash look with lifted effect okay so this is much more like a natural effect type of lash let me show you this is very different this is like a half lash situation i really like that oh, look at this style this is literally so light and airy and natural and summer and clean girl soft makeup like all the words and that's what the package is actually giving it's giving effortless minimal look that's what they say here so that's really nice then more of the half lashes and they put in a few of my favorite glues all the glues from kiss are really good but these particular ones and the one that i showed you from the rebel package is also very good and they also put some lash extensions in here the single lash extensions i'm actually thinking of trying these single lashes i've never done that. i've done it one time and i took it off the same day but i'm thinking of like putting them on you know for a few days to see i don't know it feels i don't know i'm not i don't know it's not me <laughs> it's not me it's not me it is not me I don't know it's so weird how i like makeup and i like like beauty stuff and you know i'll do my nails and everything but there's certain things that i've never done and that i never think of doing it's so weird but I, when i see them it's always so pretty like i see girls with you know lash extensions and i'm like oh that's so cute you know but I, i'm like i don't know if i could ever do it like like i'm always pulling my lash hairs and because I also wear glasses, it's like, I don't know. I really don't know. I'm talking about glasses. I'm picking up my new glasses very soon. Um, I went to the doctor's last Tuesday, last Friday to get my eye tested because I just wanted to get an upgrade on my lens. And so I have a really cool, cute lens coming through soon. I can't wait to show you guys. But yeah, we'll pick that up when it comes through. Um, but yeah, I feel like amongst other things i really it's cute it's pretty but i don't know if i can ever get it but i don't know never say never never say never i have another pr package 
which I'm very excited about or excited for. I don't even know what the word is, but it is from the brand called Black Girl Vitamins. If you're on Instagram or TikTok, you might have seen or heard a thing or two about Black Girl Vitamins. The name says everything about the brand and what it like what they do it's a vitamin made for black not made for black women but made by a black woman but also i think for black women you know because it makes sense i honestly have to do more research i'm not gonna lie this is bad pr on my part <laughs> what but let's let's see if there's there's usually you know they, they usually put something in here that gives you information about them so that's good Okay, so um, bet you didn't know this. Okay, let's say that again. Bet you didn't know this about probiotics. It improves digestion. It prevents vaginal yeast infections. It promotes growth and beneficial gut bacteria. It prevents inflammation in the body. It helps improve mental health. So over here, what we have is black girl vitamins probiotics um, they have a range of vitamins okay I think this pamphlet is only talking about the probiotics um, but if you guys if you didn't know probiotics and prebiotics are really good for gut health and gut health apparently recently I watched a, something on Netflix about gut health and apparently it's literally the besides the brain itself it's the brain of like the digestive system and the body as well. It's insane um, how much effect or influence the gut has on your general health and your general mood and your general energy. It's insane. If you read, do your research, gut health is key, you guys. And I am like all about it. <laughs> like I have also. So I feel like I've always been about gut health because if my gut is not in check, my body is going to go crazy, literally. So yeah. So um, it improves digestive health. That I know for sure. It helps with immune system. It helps with general mental well-being. And that's just like your general well-being. It's gut health is like she's the king or the queen of the body okay so that's what they do here and they put a little envelope here i hope this is not a general envelope because if if it's a handwritten note i oh it's a handwritten note we oh i love me a handwritten note that comes with pr it feels very personal it feels like well thought out so it says here akosia <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate all your support and we hope that you enjoy our vitamins love the brand una jennifer i guess that's the owner of the brand um thank you so much Ooh. so this is the package i like the fact that it comes in a bag so this allows you to carry your vitamins safe in like a carrier bag if you have to travel all of that and so we have a uh, vitamins mm -mm. <laughs> i don't know why i'm excited um but i'm definitely all for taking things that are good for the body and as long as it's black owned girl i am i'm supporting them 100 percent. so i'm happy that i get to try them out and then share it with you um they reached out to me on instagram and i'm like oh thank you yeah for sure why not so the first thing that we have here <laughs> The first thing that we have here is their D3 vitamins, um, the black girl vitamins D3. It's a dietary supplement. So it says here, black women have unique vitamin needs that are not always addressed by the one size fits all vitamin. And that's so true, sis. Preach. <laughs> we have created a vitamin D gummy for everyday use that caters to our needs melanin magic. Ooh, so I didn't, I didn't say it wrong then. They do this purposely for black people they have thought about you know black women and because you know that black women obviously have certain needs that not every you know oh sometimes it's so hard to talk about these things but you guys know what i mean like we have our own needs okay as black women we have our own special needs that is not always catered for by the general um medicine world so it's always good to have someone who 
is us who understands us and who goes out of their way to do a product for us at this point buying black is very important because you know that you know putting back put your money where your mouth is that's literally what it is put put your money where your mouth is so if you're a black woman you're gonna support another black woman okay so this is something that i'm gonna be trying out i am excited if you're wondering you can go onto their website and read everything it's fda approved um you know literally everything is check 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 so nothing to be scared of i know when it comes to medication people definitely have like questions and stuff like that but this is something that you know is approved i've done my research i usually don't accept uh, medicine you know collaboration because it's not my thing like i'm very careful about things like that so be sure to know that i did my research before i took i took this thing okay i needed actual human beings to talk about it and I've, i i got people talking so i'm happy to try it out and i'm happy to share with you guys you know the anything that i find out so yeah and they also added some hair skin and nails i like hair skin and nails because you know the girl she's lacking in the front so we need to you know <laughs> take that medication but this is passion fruits flavored and it's enriched with you know biotin and all the things that you need to get the hair growing in the right places it's made of the regular things that we all know sugar vegetable oil carrot juice oh, okay okay so it has flavor and then it also contains some tree nuts so if you're allergic to nuts be sure to um, keep that in mind but yeah thank you black girl vitamins we absolutely love this i'm going to try it out and again i will give you guys you know maybe monthly reviews or weekly reviews i don't know but i'm sure that i'll let you guys know you guys know i don't hide anything around here so i'll keep you updated the last um package that i have is from amazon this is something that i ordered um these are just mason jars but they're ripped and so they're so nice like oh i like this so much um and i like the fact that the lid is not the regular lid that you get when you get a mason jar I feel like, oh, it smells so bad. Oh, yikes. What's that? <laughs> it, it smells very, like, packagey. And, like, factory. Ooh, I gotta wash that and sanitize that. What the hell? <laughs> yikes. Um, but it comes in a pack of two, okay? And um, it comes with some straws, of course. It comes with two glass straw so that is nice oh it's so cool i like it so much like this is really so simple such my style <laughs> it's so cute i like it uh, but yeah you guys that is literally everything that i have um in terms of pr packages and you know unboxing i know that some of you guys like my unboxing so there you have it um for the rest of the night i'm just gonna be editing it's currently i think it's almost 8 p.m or it's a little past eight something around that but i'm done with everything in terms of like house chores and from my pie showered the family's fed you know kitchen is clean like yeah check 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 i'm currently reading this book um that's the title been there married that that's the title <laughs> that's such a i am i'm the type of person that if something intrigues me best believe i'm gonna look into it best believe i'm gonna be attracted by it so that's what happened with this book i saw it um i saw it in dollar tree it's so weird that i can find all these books in dollar tree apparently they have some of the best type of novels i have a million or one of them that i'm yet to like i can't wait to like finish this i have some stacked over there if you can see so i can't wait to like finish this and then move on to the next but i saw this book it says been there married that a novel and i'm like oh okay this is nice i feel like i and i haven't read an actual novel in a long time i've been reading a lot more like self-help help books in the past few and maybe like a year or like i haven't really been reading much if i'm not gonna lie if i'm being completely honest um and so this is getting me back to reading you know like you see my bookmark here i am already on like page four or five and i started like yesterday 
and I'm very happy about it. It's like very nice. It's taking me back to the feels of like reading a Hail Queen novel. Like I used to read so many novels back in the day. It was crazy. I'm such a romance type of novel person. Like it has to be about relationship. It has to be suspense. It has to like keep me on my toes, you know. The vocabulary has to be catching like I oh I used to love novels so I'm, this is definitely taking me back to that feeling and it feels really good like I can't wait to shower edit and just sit down and read a few chapters before I go to bed like that's how I, I'm um, that's how excited I am about this book so oh it's so exciting it really is so exciting um but yeah this is my current read for the month I'm excited to finish everything the few chapters the few pages that I've read is keeping me like engaged so I look forward to like getting through half of it and just like being so swamped in it and then I can't wait to finish and move on to another one I have another one let me show you guys let me just show you <laughs> at this point I'm too excited so let me show you so there's another one here it says there is a word for that and I don't know what they're talking about but I'm excited what, to find out what they're saying in this book <laughs> like what is their word for and it doesn't even have a lot of like, you know, except in the back or like some something that you can read, um, you know, to give you an idea of what it's going to be. Um, but it's a novel. I'm excited. It's meant to be engrossing, hilarious and tender. So hopefully it's, it's going to be nice. Um, but again, I'm excited that Dollar Tree has all of these books and I can't wait to like finish and just go and grab some more. But yeah, this other one right here is just um, a book that I have to use to plan my routine. It's, I don't know, I'm yet to go through it, but it says here, Clean Mama's Guide to a Peaceful Home. <laughs> it's so weird. I'm in my mama home building era, I guess. So I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> okay but yeah you guys but yes you guys that is literally um everything that i have to tell you and show you i'm gonna go shower and just settle down and you know do some editing i'm sure that i'll see you guys tomorrow i'm working from home tomorrow so that's nice and tomorrow i think i want to show you guys my garden so um i have some exciting news or ex exciting updates with my garden so I can't wait to show you, but yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. What's this? Morning, you guys. It is Wednesday morning. It's currently 6 a.m. I am about to go and do some workout. Um, as of right now, what I do is I do my workout three days out of the week. I do my workouts the day that I work from home. So all days that I work from home, I work out. And then the days that I have to go into office, which is two days, I don't do my workout. So yeah, today is a workout day. I have created a routine for myself that works with my current schedule. And I love that, you know, so um, yeah. Let's, let's go get some workout in. I just woke up, so obviously, but yeah, let's go and get some workout in, okay? You guys, I just am done with my workout. Let me turn that down. So I'm done with my workout. I am getting ready for work. And I just wanted to talk to you guys about something that I was talking about yesterday, right? So yesterday, me and um, internet, social media has gifted me. Social media has gifted me um, a few people, you know, um, who were really nice. And yesterday, I was talking to one of my friends on social media. I mean, that I met through social media. I've never seen her in person, but I've known her for like 
over five years at this point isn't it insane um yesterday i was just like catching up with her and we're talking about you know i was asking her a few things about friendships and like the conversation of friendships came up and i was asking her how does it really work in this country with friends because you know i feel like i'm still like <laughs> trying to figure it out right and she she said something that really sat well with me she said that right now a lot of friendships are based on um she didn't even say based on she said right now a lot of friendships have to be intentional and that was so true she said right now as adults the age that we're at pretty much everything that you do has to be intentional and that even involves friendships she has a whole schedule of how she has to check in with her friends so she has text and call three days a week i'm like oh come to think of it that's one thing that i don't do <laughs> i'm so bad at keeping up and that's what and when she said that it brought my mind to the fact that that's so true I'm so bad at keeping up with people. I'm bad at checking in on people. I'm just really bad at um, keeping up with friendship. And I think that that's what my thing is. Um, I can go weeks without calling my friends. And in my mind, I still feel like we're fine. <laughs> and one time, my best friend had to call me out on that. And that's why I'm always grateful for my best friend. Because if there's an issue, he's going to talk about it, you know? And that's, you know, that's the type of friendship that I preach every time. Like, if there's something, we got to talk about it. So, he told me that, baby girl, I think that you're really bad <laughs> at keeping up with friendships. You barely text, you barely call. And if it happens that way, it becomes one-sided. And I'm like, that's so true. And so yesterday, when my friend also said it sophia when she mentioned that to me yesterday it just made sense that okay maybe i need to still work on a thing or two <laughs> maybe the intentionality part is what i'm missing right let me put my camera on auto because it's just acting crazy okay so so maybe that's the one thing and not even maybe that is the one thing that was lacking in my um friendships and like was lacking in me and what i had to do when it comes to friend when it came to friendships so she's like yeah you have to be intentional you have to know the people who are okay with not talking for a long time but then when you guys talk it feels like you know there's no like there's nothing it feels fresh it always feels good you have to know those people and you have to know the people who you need to like check in on every time just to keep up with that friendship you need to invest you need to you know be intentional and i'm like that's so true i said that is so true because that's the one thing that i don't do <laughs> and i i don't know why i don't do that i don't know why I've been that way, but I've been, always been that way. I've always been, like, um, you know, I don't know how to talk on the phone for long. It's just, it's just who I am. But again, I've come to learn that it's not only about you, you know, especially when it comes to friendships. It's more like a partnership. It's like a relationship, sort of. So you have to um, put the other person's um, emotions and needs also as a priority just so that you know there's balance for both of you so I just uh, it was just like I'm like oh, do you guys have like to do so much investment in your friendships comment below and let me know that's why I wanted to talk to you guys do you invest time like let's have a conversation in the comments is it really investment when it comes to friendships like is that the situation for all of you out there because yesterday when she said it i'm like really that is like a second relationship i don't know if i could do that <laughs> i don't know but also when i see people 
you know, with your girlfriend groups and like, you know, friend groups and cute friendships. I'm like, oh, that's so cute. And then I, I hear all the things that you have to do to maintain it. And I'm like, oh, I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> I truly don't know. That's the question. But I, it's, it's a thing to be aware of. It's good that at least I know that I still have something that I have to work on in terms of friendships in that regard, you know. So comment below and let me know. Is this something that, you know, the girls are doing? Are we um, trying to keep up maintaining friendships just like relationships? Because let me know. Because, you know, things have changed. So <laughs> it's insane. But that was such a good conversation to have with her yesterday. It was really good to, like, you know, hear generally what people think when it comes to friendship and not just what I think, <laughs> you know. And um, I feel like I don't really give people grace a lot when it comes to like, I, when it comes to communication, I'm such a, everybody has to know how to communicate like I do. And yesterday my best friend was telling me, not everybody is like you. Not everybody um, will convey a message the way that you will convey, you know. So however, it's like communication is such a big thing for me that if you don't communicate, I think I've said it so many times, I don't want anything to do with that type of relationship. Um, but also, I have to give people grace because, you know, people are doing the best they can with the knowledge and understanding that they have in that moment. So, it's it's all over the place. It's really all over the place. But um, I guess there's still some work to be done. Um, but anyway, you guys, getting ready for work. Um, and when I'm working from home, I don't really do much. And I've been, I don't know if I mentioned, but I've been trying to grow out my edges. So I've taken a break on, you know, ex wigs and all of that. I currently have some tapings in my hair. So that's what you guys see. That's how come I have the length. Um, but I've just been working on, see how bad my edges are. They even, they even grow. <laughs> They're like even growing at this point. But you can see the bald spots in this area precisely is my big thing because then it keeps going inside and I don't want to do that. So I just decided to put a pause on, you know, anything tension. I've been, I think I've worn it out for, you know, I've had tapings for like the last month and this month. So um, I'm itching to get some braids. I'm not gonna lie. I am itching to get some braids. I'm itching to put on my wig. I miss one of my wigs that I'm like, oh, this wig is so cute. I didn't really enjoy it. So never say, I'm not saying that I'm not gonna wear them again. I'm just taking a break. Okay, just a break. Anyway, you guys, this is literally it. At this point, I don't let my edges bother me so much. And I'm very happy with my type of job that I do right now because we're just like four people on my team. Not like we are only four people on my team. <laughs> like, there's literally four people on my team, my manager and three of us. Um, they're still trying to bring a few more people on the team, but it's pretty much a tight-knit team. So there's nothing to be shy of. There's nothing to be, you know, it's like you don't have to prove anything to anyone. Um, and, you know, I'm very happy. It's just... It's giving me room to actually let myself be and just be myself without feeling uncomfortable or feeling like someone is going to be looking at my edges or you know all of that stuff I'm actually like you know I'm I'm really happy that I've come to this stage where I can just wear my hair out like this and not feel a certain type of way about it I mean I still feel conscious for sure um, but you know, I just, I don't let it bother me too much at all. But you guys, yeah, let me show you what I'm wearing for the day. Um, but I'm done. Let me put on some earrings. Let me show you. So these earrings right here, you guys, they are meant to be a dupe for Christian Dior. And I got it from Amazon. I didn't actually know that it was a dupe for Dior. It was just like a cute earring that, you know, I felt would match my gold aesthetic. Um, cause you guys know I love gold jewelry, like, oh, it looks stunning on me. <laughs> on the inside here, there is a Dior, like, literally, 
they have Dior and I'm like oh so this is meant to be a Dior dupe then because I did not know that but it's actually really cute it's a very cute earring see what that looks like it's a really cute earring for when like you you dress up and I think I want to put my hair in a bun okay so that's what it looks like the earring is really cute I really like this earring um, but I am done I'm gonna go 7:24. work for me starts at 8 so I'm just gonna go chill um, I managed to edit a full episode of my podcast yesterday so I'm gonna post that out um, and I just want to say that my podcast I don't release it as much because it's the most intentional content that I have ever on every platform let me just say that my podcast is literally an embodiment of who I am <laughs> like you guys I'm sure you can tell like I'm always trying to talk here so my podcast I don't like it literally comes from here the points the way I talk like literally everything comes from my soul and I'm saying that to say that if I don't feel like discerned enough I won't record an episode all the topics I talk about they literally are like discerning if it makes sense like it's like something that I'm going through in life and then it hits me maybe I'm doing the dishes and something hits me and I'm like yeah I gotta talk about that that's my podcast literally so if I don't like if nothing comes to me if I don't feel anything if I'm not pushed to say anything I usually don't and that's how come there's like a lot of like you know my podcast is released this week and then you don't hear from me again for like two weeks and I come back with another episode because in that two weeks I didn't I didn't feel anything I didn't feel like I had a pressing topic sometimes I literally have a topic that is so pressing that if I don't write it down on my notepad to talk about it it will literally be in my mind the whole time and that's how my podcast is I feel like God literally gives me topics to talk about and I'm not even kidding that's legit how I feel about my podcast it's topics that discern to me my podcast is not forced that's all I need to say it's very intentional and it's like not from me trying to like because I want to keep up with my podcast I'm constantly trying to say something or I'm constantly trying to record a video no I'm not trying to do that I really really can't wait for my podcast to grow into the conversational body that I want it to be I see the vision I know the vision and so I'm not gonna push it into something that it's not so I am excited I can't wait for you guys to see this episode and you know I can't wait for you guys to see future episodes but just know that my podcast is dear to my heart okay so you have a new episode coming out um, but yeah I'm just gonna go chill and get ready settle for work <laughs> my husband just came downstairs but yeah I'm just gonna go get ready for work and I will see you guys later okay Happy Friday. I don't know why I went blank for a second. So I'm on my lunch break. <laughs> it's currently 12 13. I'm fasting today, so my energy is literally on the low low. I'm not even kidding. Oh, I was meant to turn down that music in the bathroom. Give me one second. But you guys, yes, I um it's Friday today. We're going to pick up my glasses. My glasses is ready. I'm waiting for my ride to come so that we can go and pick up my glasses. Um, but I'm working from home today. I feel you guys already know that at this point, right? I work from home. Um, I go in office Tuesdays and Thursdays, and then the rest of the days I'm home. So I'm gonna go do that, and I will grab lunch because I'm so hungry. I'm fasting today. I think I already mentioned that my brain is literally fried, so I don't even remember. But I'm gonna go grab lunch for myself and my husband and then I will come back home just chill but I'm excited for my glasses I'm just calm because I'm hungry I'm not gonna lie I'm hungry uh, but yeah it's Friday I hope you guys are doing good but I'm gonna go do the rounds I will go with you guys we'll be on my phone and then yeah yeah so <laughs> I will see you guys when we step out okay Okay, you guys, we're here. Oh, I think my camera looks bad. Let me clean it for a second. Okay. 
Hi. I'm here to pick up my glasses. Okay. I'm going to put them on for yourself the way you would normally would and we'll see what they need. Okay, that is beautiful. Yeah, I like them. I like yeah. it too. Yeah, I like Clear it too. Clear and with the, with the white on the sides. Let me see if they need to be tightened. Well, you know what? Not that bad. Yeah, yeah, I think it's comfortable. Yeah, it's not sticking out. It's not hurting back behind the ears, mm. or is it? No, no? it's not. Okay. As of right now, it looks good. Very good then. All right. I feel great. Yeah. Something square there, and you got the microfiber cloth. Thank you so much. Uh, if you don't like that color, I can give you some other choices. Mm. I'll go on the back because I think I have some other colors even there. I think this is great. Actually. That one's all right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, maybe. I yeah, I think this is great. This is perfect. You sure? Yeah, right. this is perfect. All right. Actually. This is perfect. Well, thank you so much. Okay, you're welcome. My pleasure. Um, can I do debit or credit? Oh, yeah, card? Any, any, okay, we take uh, everything. Okay, perfect. Cash, checks, credit cards. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Zach. Oh, this is cute. Yeah, this is <laughs> I think my purse is in my car. Give me one okay. second. Oh my god. I really need my. I'm holding this whole thing and it doesn't have my purse. I know. Stuff like that falls out of my purse all the time. Oh my car. goodness. Panic. Panic. Found it. I would have gone crazy if I lost it somewhere oh, else. Yeah. I understand. I feel it totally. It has everything. It goes sometimes in the grocery store and I get to the check out and I'm like, uh -oh. Wait, I know. <laughs> <laughs> can, can I just uh, put yeah. this out here and come, come back? Sometimes it's like, I'm so ashamed because I'm like, oh, how didn't you prepare yourself before coming? Yeah. Thank you. Right, thank you. You just need a signature on this one, please. Okay. It's there. Thank you so much. Have a good rest of the day. Happy weekend. Thank you. We got the glasses. I love it. It's so cute. <laughs> I'm back home you guys I am back home <laughs> I like my glasses I think it's really cute this is what it looks like on the side hmm. let me show you guys see what that looks like it's just like really simple <laughs> and and I can actually see the lens I see because when I look at you guys in my glasses it's a lot more zoomed in <clears throat> um, oh, so this is meant to help with reading working with my screens and general um what's it called being able to because <laughs> I have issues reading something from a distance um, my vision is not so bad it's good I did the test this time and you know the doctor was like my vision is actually okay it's not so bad so <clears throat> this is just um what the same lens prescription that i've been wearing since high school <laughs> literally so it's not like um my vision is getting bad no i just needed a change of glasses so i am very happy with this um but i also have lunch i got something from a place called mikey's munchies and crunchies that's literally the name <laughs> So, I am excited to eat. I'm so hungry. I got some burgers. Let me see. Yeah. Oh, this is, it looks really, really good. It's 
packaged really nicely, but it's just bagus with some fries. I'm gonna go give it to my husband. Look at how sizable this bagger is. This is so big. <laughs> It's a really big beggar, really juicy. Oh my goodness, I'm ashamed. I haven't washed my. Let me go and wash my hands. Mm -mm -mm. And then I also got some calamari rings. It's just fried calamari, so I'm excited to eat that. You guys know I love seafood, so my camera angle <laughs> is so bad, but I'm so hungry, and my lunch break is over at this point, so. I'm gonna leave you guys and go and just go and sit down enjoy my food go back to work and I will see you guys when I close from work okay that's literally my life right now so <laughs> um, I will see you guys in a bit okay hey guys so um, what was the last time that you guys saw me I don't even remember I think the last time that you guys saw me was when I came back from lunch with my um, glasses but i'm out of work it's currently 8 p.m actually i want us to do some unboxings i have a few things that i want us to get through so the first package that i have is from yiddy you guys know that i work with yiddy i put that on pause for a little i'm not gonna lie i put it on pause because the one thing I, th I think i told you yiddy doesn't have a discount code for my followers like it bothers my hats <laughs> like I'm like I like free clothes but like I would love to at least give my audience at least something you know like they're my family like what are you talking about <laughs> like girl so I honestly thought about it for a second I'm like you know what uh, I don't know I want to give my girl something off because this times are hard okay people are trying to be smart with their money you know people are trying to look cute buy quality things but at affordable prices and so I would love to be the girl that gives you you know all the plugs where you can buy things that are good but still saving your buck because we're not out here to be broke but we're still out here to look cute if you get what I'm saying you know <laughs> so yeah I it just it was really bothering me but then i'm like <laughs> I, I, it bothers me but i like the free clothes if i'm not gonna lie like i like the i like the dresses yidi has some very quality pieces like i have some of their pieces that are my go-to for like their underwear um tummy control underwear because i have like very soft skin so when i wear a bodycon dress without the yidi underwear i literally can't put it on because my skin is too soft for me <laughs> but it keeps everything in control so i really like that um, so i'm like you know what let me just get a few more things from them you know so um i have they sent me a package for the month of may i guess and in here i think i know what this is it might be a dress or a jumpsuit yay yay it's a jumpsuit yay let me take you guys back so i can show you a little bit uh, um this is what it looks like this is what the front looks like and this is what the back looks like oh it's giving showing bodzy oh my god <laughs> like look at that you can see you can tell but this is definitely something that i love for this type of season because you can just put this on throw a quick little you know light jacket on put on some shoes take your bag and that's your errands outfit i love something simple but cute so this is definitely my vibe for sure um but yeah i picked it in black because i feel like black will match a lot more things and you know i don't have to stress with like you know pairing black with other colors and the quality that's one thing i always say about yidi right the fabric quality like the thickness of this stuff is like so nice see even though it feels like it looks you do see through when you put it on it will obviously not look like that because it's very thick like look at that like you you cannot see my skin 
even if I stretch it out you see it doesn't feel thin on the skin which is weird, but it's still light if you so it's, it doesn't feel too thick but it still gives you the coverage that you need I like that um, but yeah that's what we have from Yiddy and then I have a bag from Amazon I thought this bag was really cute it's just a simple like um, clutch stroke like purse bag let me show you instead of telling you <laughs> oh this is really pretty see what that looks like it's nude but it's also suede the material is suede I don't want to bring it too close to the camera because I feel like it will wash it out yeah it certainly will do that <laughs> so no it has like a longer chain so you can you know do that to it but this is really pretty I like this this is very pretty but yes you guys that's pretty much everything that I have from Amazon and Yiddy. <laughs> I'm about to just like clean up the house I'm not gonna lie like I said I really want to get into cleaning mode and you know put a few things away switch a few things around just to like give me a new feel of the house but with that being said I figured I'll end off this vlog here because I would like to do the cleaning situation in a whole nother vlog so I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog right here I haven't seen you guys in a minute let me just address that um, I recently just posted a podcast episode so if you haven't already seen that please check it out but I know I haven't seen you guys in a minute I miss you guys I know this vlog is kind of like calm and like chill and work week and everything that's what my life looks like right now but also I feel like I'm a I'm a little rusty on the vlog you know I'm still trying to get the vibe back up you know I'm still trying to like you know be in vlog mode because I'm not gonna lie vlogging comes with a certain level of energy which you you need to be you know you need to be your vibe <laughs> I'm not gonna lie um, but your girl is like trying to pick myself back up after not vlogging for a while so pardon me okay but i hope to see you in next week's vlog um and in the cleaning vlog or you know i'll see you in the next vlog whatever vlogs come up comes up i will see you in that vlog thank you so much for watching this week <laughs> i couldn't even get my words out thank you so much for watching this week's vlog i love you guys so much i will see you in next week's um content i'll see whatever content comes up next okay love you bye Bye. When they say she get it from her mama, I'ma say you fuck her right. Your body will just bump like a dummy in the hall.